this video I want to talk to you guys about the center axis relock. Now, this is something that's come back, uh, come back up. It uh, was around, it wasn't really the most popular, but basically it's a system that was developed by a former British police officer and uh, a guy who, you know, it's, uh, he's dead now, but uh, he had this uh, training group, Sabre Tactical, and he came up with the center axis relax uh, uh, basically as a reflective, uh, a reactive way, not a reflexive way, a reactive way to handle close quarters uh, shooting uh, with a pistol and uh, it was crossed over to also be able to be implemented with a shotgun and a rifle as well. Now the uh, Hollywood has brought it into the screen with John Wick but in what I understand and what I know, um, it, it's not the literal center axis relock, it's kind of pseudo. Um, now, if you look at traditional center axis relock, it's basically like this, where you're actually holding the pistol at, you know, reading distance to where you can read it, and basically my arm's at a 90 degree angle, and I'm holding my hand pretty comfortably and it wraps around and this one is pushing into my hand and I'm just holding it here and this is basically where it's at. I have 90 degree angles on everything and it's it's right here and I'm presenting a pretty small target but instead of instead of actually using my dominant eye and with both eyes open I'm using my support eye or other eye and my front sight, my sights, are clearly visible, they're very close, and I'm looking at my target with my, my right eye, and it, as you can see, it's over my right eye. So, I'm shooting from here, and it's very close, very easy to acquire your target, and, you know, reference it with your sights, and it can be used out to like 10 meters, or 10 yards, 20 yards, depending on how much training, I guess, you have. But typically, snapping into something like this is can be uh, pretty easy to do, like from the holster, snapping into something like this, and that, that was uh, sort of the purpose, is to kind of shuffle backwards while you were reflectively firing. Now, a lot of people would be concerned with the slide hitting them. I have a snap cap in here, but this is about as, this is about as uh, close as the slide would get to my head. So it's a pretty good amount of clearance here, and it's not really that hard. So uh, basically, it, it's a pretty good technique, but now to talk about the John Wick version, which I think is more of a, a hunter version of the center axis relock sitting there uh, from the ready right here, and then you know, you're, you're basically bladed in the traditional sense, and then you, you pop it up, you extend it out, and pop it up to your, you know, opposing eye, not necessarily your dominant eye, unless you are a left eye dominant, but a right-handed shooter. So, of course, it's ambidextrous. It works for, you know, the other side as well. So, anyways, there's obviously limitations, but we're not going to necessarily cover that in depth here. But <clears throat> when it comes to, like, what the way John Wick used it in the movie, I noticed that he basically has the, the you know, the fighting stance, and he implements this, but he uses his, he uses his, uh, basically, from what I saw, he, he looks right over this area, right here, and he mostly uses his shooting eye, and he's basically looking over the pistol. It's mostly instinctive firing, just lining it up, and just holding it, just ready to use it, but he's not it didn't look like he was actually implementing the actual center axis relock where he's basically bladed. He's very like right on with it, but he's he's aiming with his uh, his right eye more or less, searching with his right eye, and he's basically shooting, looking over the pistol while he's shooting. He's just looking in the general direction when he's pulling the trigger, and you know he's able to get good head hits because when you're you know, arm's length away from somebody, just putting headshots into someone when you're, you know, basically facing them, it's going to be pretty effective. It, it's going to be pretty easy to do. So, 
in the movie, that's what basically what he was doing. But you did see him actually take, a, basically take a stance to, uh, or he he would stand in a way and use a, I guess you could say stance, to uh, of taking an extended shot, um, a lot of times. But when he was close up, he was going to this like modified Cineraxis relock while he was uh, going through. And it's actually very controllable, very easy to get your sights, and when you're really close, you're going to be presented with big targets, so your sights right there, you can take care of them, and it's very easy to control the recoil from here, because at 90 degrees, this is pretty well locked, and it's right there, everything's within your 90 degree uh, workspace, so when you're doing reloads, you're already at this area, and you snap right back into it right here. You don't have to extend all the way out and do this whole number. If you're going to go up, you just go up. You, this is basically the hunting position and you just go up into your sight. So it's a pretty aggressive way to, <laughs> they, they turned it from a reactive um, method to an aggressive method. They turned it around to where it is an offensive method, how to hunt quickly. And yes, he wanted to keep moving and he was reacting to other people, so yes, in a sense, it was defensive, if you will. But in general, it kind of displayed it as a way of uh, being aggressive. So uh, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. But it's the best example of the center axis relock in, in Hollywood, but it is a bit different. It's not, you know, the traditional bladed stance that was taught where you're covering up basically everything and you're nice and locked in position right there and what I was taught is actually to be touching your touching your thumbs together instead of you know holding like this and uh, pinching everything together just basically touch your thumbs together but anyways you know there's limitations here of course long range shooting uh, basically you can you can rotate around you have good peripheral vision recoil control uh, quick acquisition of sights but you know going around barriers Probably not going to be the the best one uh, for you. Of course, you could just have it around here, right below your your head, and be going around barriers like this. But you know, it is what it is. You could be going around barriers kind of like that. It, it it all depends on what you're doing. But uh, you could modify it more. But at more out of the traditional uh, method, you're going to lose a little more of the the advantages that the original system had. So just keep that in mind. Pretty good system. I'll be doing a range demonstration, but anyways, for now, just wanted to discuss it a little bit. So anyways, that was the Center Axis Relock. Uh, hope you guys got something from it, and stay tuned for more videos.